There's also been a lot of discussion on whether or not Rodney Bryant serving as interim has something to do with crime in our city. Now, I think that it is a ludicrous conversation because this COVID crime wave is being experienced across the country. But let me tell you what I know about Rodney Bryant. When I was a city council member, he was my zone commander. I got to know him. I got to know how he cares for our communities, how he works alongside our communities, how he responded to our communities. I saw it firsthand. So after 30 years, when he took a well-deserved retirement, when we needed someone to step in as interim corrections chief, I asked him to come back. And you know what he said? He said, I will do whatever I can do to help this city, Mayor. If you need me back, I will come back. On May 29th, when this city literally was burning, I called Chief Bryant and I said, please come and take over the Joint Operation Command Center because I knew what he had done when he was deputy chief and the role he played. He said, Mayor, whatever you need me to do, I love this city, whatever you need me to do. When it was time for me to appoint him as interim chief, he again said, I will serve for as long as you need me to serve whatever you need me to do. I love this city. So I don't want there to be any question on whether or not I have confidence in the leadership of Chief Bryan. So while I know the men and women of this department respect him and they know him, whether his title is interim or permanent, he's still showing up and he's leading every day. But I want to remove this from the conversation. So for those of you who believe that naming him as a permanent chief will make a difference in crime in our city, I am naming him as permanent chief today. I'm going to put his name forth to city council and ask that they confirm him immediately. And after the election, when all of the political theater is over, whether I am mayor or whomever is mayor, if it is appropriate to launch a national search at that time, then that decision can be made at that time. So I want to remove this from the discussion. And if this naming of this capable, able, solid leader as permanent chief will help with crime in the city, we're going to use every tool we have in our toolbox. And I ask that city council join me in confirming him. And again, after the election, when the theatrics of the political season are over, this can be revisited. I've had this conversation with Chief Bryan. He said, Mayor, whatever it is that best serves this city is what I am willing to do.